Jamaica, 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 come we have a talk. Come man, pull up your chair, sit down, fix a drink, something. Come we have a talk. This not gonna take too long. There's an article out that says minimum of 50 years. Now, I know that a lot of people want to see Jamaica change as far as the violence goes. But all we are seeing is people murdering people, getting 15 years in prison out in seven. And that leaves no incentive, not incentive, but no deterrent. Because a man can say, yo boy, me mash you up, you know. I'm going to sit on a prison for 15 years knowing damn well that he's just going to be partying and chilling with the homies for 7 years and then he'll be out on parole or probation, whatever they want to call it, right? Welcome back to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. So listen to my argument and then leave your comments in the comments section below. Legislators agree to the lowest mandatory sentence for capital murder. So there was arguments recently about changing the laws to make the laws have more teeth and more bite in it. Just like how them changed the gun laws the other day in Jamaica and they said 15 years minimum sentence. That means no matter what a judge does, the judge can't give you no less than 15 if you are found with an illegal firearm. Right, right. Here they are saying if it's capital murder. It should be no less than 50, the mandatory minimum. Maybe this will start to get people to start to think. So when a man say, yo boy, me mash up, I'm going to do a couple of years of prison, you know. He understands that his couple of years he's talking about is 50 years. So if a 30-year-old is telling the next man, me mash up, I'm going to do a couple of years of prison, you know. He should understand that he will be coming out of prison when he's 80 years old. He might want to think about that because that's different from going in at 30, coming out at 37, right? Legislators, after weeks of intense deliberation, have agreed to the government's proposal for the imposition of a mandatory minimum sentence of 50 years for adults who commit capital murder. News flash and warning. You might want to send this to your little buck bad cousin, your little bad man boyfriend, your little bad man husband, gunman baby daddy. That Jamaica has now put it on the books. 50 years is your minimum sentence starting now for capital murder. If you commit capital murder and you are convicted at trial. You're getting 50 years under your ass. That's mandatory minimum. Meaning, no plea deal now I'm gonna save you. It's mandatory minimum. This is the lowest the judge can give you. All right? So the proposed change started having some people arguing that it was too excessive. It's too much. But we started saying to ourselves, then which politician who actually wishes jamaica well and hopes that it changes from the bloodbath and bloodletting that's going on now which one of them would argue with this and feel like say this is too excessive well let's find out so the proposed change under section 3 1c a of the offense against the person act or oapa is that where a capital murder has been committed, the mandatory minimum sentence to be served before being eligible for parole moves now from 20 years to 50 years. Yes, Jamaica just did it. Members of the Joint Select Committee who are reviewing this act, along with two other pieces of related legislation, the Criminal Justice Administration Act and the Child Care and Protection Amendment Act. They approved the proposed amendment during a lengthy deliberation at a meeting on Wednesday. So it has been approved. Before arriving at a consensus, members expressed varying views about what the minimum sentence for capital murder should be, with some of them proposing that it should be 40 years and not 50. 
opposition senator Donner Scott Motley said that while she supports sending a strong message through sentencing of how abhorrent one feels towards murders, as a legislator, I think it is my duty to show some balance. So Senator Donna Scott Motley said that she believes that the increase in the minimum sentences from 20 to 50 years is far too dramatic, far too dramatic. And then she proposed that the 20 years that we have now should be doubled instead. So instead of 50, let's go 40. Hmm. You know, it's funny because I don't think this woman ever had anybody in her family slaughtered out of road. Yeah. Nobody never drive up in a car and fool them up of gunshot or, or her nephew or her father or her mother or her daughter or one of those. Or none of them never get a uh, draw away and rape and throat cut and left in bushes. She would have a totally different outcome. That's the sad part about a lot of these Jamaican leaders or so-called politicians and elected leaders and officials. They are disconnected from the reality of what is happening in Jamaica. They watch the citizens go through it on a regular basis and they hear the cries but if it's not me, then me not to feel no way still. Me feel sorry for them, but me still not to feel it. So only until it starts to happen to them, then they will really feel it. I bet if it ever happened to her, she'll be calling for a hundred years. Right. She said that she believes that the increase in the minimum sentence from 20 to 50 years is far too dramatic. It should have been 40 man. I find the jump to be extraordinary. I find just the thought of serving 50 years in prison is to me so repulsive. Think 50 years is just too long, man. My compromise is 40 years, she added. Now, people, this is her comments, quote unquote, I am reading to you. I find the jump to be extraordinary. I find just the thought of serving 50 years in prison is to me so repulsive. Um, hello, Miss Lady, Senator Donna Scott Motley. The fact that you yourself said, I find just the thought of serving 50 years in prison is to me so repulsive tells me that the 50 years is just and it's going to work. Yeah, because that is exactly what you want people to do. You want them to say, yo, I'm going to kill the boy, you know. And then you want them to have that moment where they say, damn, you know what? Upon second thought, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to God and time deal with him. I'm not going to kill him. Because 50 years is repulsive. Those are your words. 50 years to you is repulsive. Just the thought of it. Yes, man. So if they know that this is how much time they're going to get get, and they end up going ahead and committing capital murder anyways. See, here's the problem. At some point in Jamaica, we have got to start to place value on life again. Jamaica has gotten to the stage where life is not valued anymore. It's money over everything. Money over self-respect, money over your family, money over real love, money over manners, money over dignity money over life and because we're at that dark place where it's money over everything we see people getting dash well like garbage on a regular basis and all everybody does now because we're so desensitized can remember in you know, jamaica kill over a thousand eleven hundred people every year and we've been doing it every year for about 20 years now or so Maybe even more. So you do the maths to that. That's, that's like 20 something thousand Jamaican dead. From just murder. Not from sickness. Not from aging out and then dying of old age. Not from car accident and these things. Just from murder. So at some point we got to start to put the value of life back into things. 
Right now, we look like a nation that does not value life. Jamaica nice. Jamaica sweet. When the people them rob people and then kill them, it's my saying that I say, rob me. But leave me with my life. So I can go back and get back the material things you took from me. Hell, you might even be able to rob me again. But if you rob me and kill me, you will never be able to rob me again. And the stuff that you robbed me for is not even enough to feed you for a day. That means my life was taken because of something that's not even worth one day of survival on earth. Come on, we have to place more value on life than that. She said, I find that jump to be extraordinary to go from 20 to 50. I just find the thought of serving 50 years in prison is so repulsive to me. I think it's too long. It's too much. I don't think this lady is thinking about the victims' families. Like when your child or your loved one gets gunned down or found chopped up and cut up. You're going to stand there and say, yeah, sentence him. But don't give him too much time. 50, no, your honor. That's too much. Now, even while conceding and going along with her colleagues, government senator Shireen Golding Campbell said, I also want it recorded that I'm not really so happy about the methodology by which we came to these decisions. Funny enough, it is women, two women so far, who seem to be unhappy about it going from 20 years to 50 years. However, government member Donovan Williams and Senator Charles Sinclair said that they were in full support of the 50 years mandatory minimum for capital murder. Two women said them not, them not like it really, and then two men said they're in full support of it. So shout out to Donovan Williams and Senator Charles Sinclair who said that they're in full support of the 50 years mandatory minimum for capital murder. Williams said that he was in agreement given the egregious nature of capital murder and the fact that there is possible recourse to the accused under the Plea Negotiation and Agreement Act. Possible recourse. Chair of the committee, Delroy Chuck, stressed that the executive is very firm that punishment for murder must reflect public sentiments and the public's interests. And I think, to be fair, the public sentiment and the public interest is asking for harsher punishment for capital offenses. Yes, sir, they are. You hear Jamaicans every day calling, bring back the death penalty, man. This is just too much now, man. We can't take this no more, man. So, yes, thank you for listening to the public. And although this is not the death penalty being brought back, this is a sentence that has some teeth in it. The feeling is that for the last 30 years or so, we have had far too many cases of murder being committed in such a small country. And even though other measures are being used, the feeling also is that the sentences should also reflect the nature and the gravity of the offense of murder, he said. Some man are kill people and I get prison time like says a car accident, them getting a and they were driving without a license. In Monday, out by Friday, on bail, never to be seen again. Them kind of something there, and we have to change that. He noted as well that the mandatory minimum sentencing needed to be consistent with the new Firearm Prohibition, Restriction and Regulation Act, which provides penalties ranging from 15 years to life imprisonment for breaches. This is the new Firearms Act. So if you're going to give 15 years at a minimum just for being caught with a firearm, then for taking a life, it can't be 20. It has to be higher. And we have to make it so that somebody trembles when they think about it. In me delivering this message today, I'm also sending a warning out. Let me say it again. If you're 30 years old, you're 29, you just turned 30 yesterday, you're still young. Your age still depends on calendar. 
your head hot, you're a bad man, you kill people. Next boy say nothing to me. Watch and see if me not lush out them blood clot. Okay. Listen, I want you to remember that Jamaica now has mandatory minimum 50. So you're going in at 30. After you don't do 50, you're coming out at 80. And that's the minimum. You want to show your life like that? Now in terms of non-capital murder, where the sentence can either be life imprisonment or a fixed term of imprisonment under the OAPA, the committee made some adjustments to that proposal. Instead of the recommended life imprisonment sentence for non-capital murder of 45 years, the committee agreed that it should be 30 years. Non-capital murder. 30 years. Mandatory minimum. Right. They were trying to make it 45 years, but they argued it down to 30. So capital murder, 50 years mandatory minimum. Non-capital murder, 30, uh, 30 years mandatory minimum. You can go look up what capital murder entails and what non-capital murder entails. Under section 3-1b, it was originally proposed that the sentence will be increased from 15 to 45. Well, that 15 turned into 30 and for some reason i believe that they had to please these women who were so in disagreeance because they didn't want it to go from 20 to 50 for capital murder but they said you know what we will side with you to vote in the 20 to 50 on capital murder if you side with us to go from 15 to 30 instead of 15 to 45 again can you imagine you have elected officials and people in positions of power who actually want the laws, how many years you get in prison for a murder, to actually be low, low, and find that 50 years for capital murder is just too much. Wow. The committee also agreed that where a fixed term of imprisonment is imposed, this should not be less than 40 years. And that the convict must serve at least 20 years before being eligible for parole. This was adjusted from the original proposal of 35 years. And this is for non-capital murder. The liberation on the remaining bills are expected to conclude next week. And it has also been proposed that section 42F of the Criminal Justice Administration Act. And the term years to be deemed as life imprisonment increases from 30 to 50 years when the offense committed is murder, mandatory minimum. Under the Child Care and Protection Amendment Act, it is being proposed that children who are convicted of murder must serve a mandatory sentence of 20 years in prison before they are eligible for parole as well. And I have something to say on that as well. A lot of these children when they commit murder, we have to take into account their age, yes. And you make youthful mistakes, yes. But the, pro the, 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 the crime has to match with the punishment. 20 years for taking away my grandmother's life, who lived her life good and happy, and she reached in her 70s. I don't think 20 years is justified. 20 years for taking away my son's life. And my son was a promising football player and an academic genius heading places. You get to come out after 20 years and come live your life. You were 15 when you killed him, 16 when you killed him. You'll be back out young and strong enough still to come smile and make a family of your own and enjoy life. The victim will never, their family will never be able to enjoy any of that. So child or no child, I think they should be sentenced as adults. And that's just the way I think. Don't fight me. In the U.S., children are sentenced as adults all the time. And Jamaica love follow the U.S. with everything, don't? All right. It's a good start. It sounds good. Let's see where it goes. 
Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. 50 years minimum for capital murder. I'll catch you on the next video. Somebody has finally been sentenced to a life in prison after being found with a gun. Let me go dig up that story there for you and I'll bring it forward. Hit that subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.